put someone under the microscope, or in my case, the magnifying glass to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here. And our idiom today is to put someone or something under the microscope. And this idiom, the actual origin of the idiom isn't really known or described, but of course the microscope was discovered in 1585 by a spectacle maker, an eyeglass spectacle maker, uh, by the name of Zacharias John Jensen, it looks like. And then a Dutchman, Antonio von Lugan something in 1660s, made a microscope by grinding his own lenses. 1625, Giovanni Faber described an instrument invented by Galileo in 1609. So since the late 1500s, early 1600s, microscopes have existed. Therefore, I'm sure people have been putting something, slides, etc., anything under a microscope since then. It, of course, means to examine something very closely, to look at, examine, study something critically and closely and with great detail, usually because you think there might be something wrong with it or you're looking for changes or differences, etc. So what kind of things should we do this for in our business? What things should we put under a microscope when it comes to growing and building and supersizing your business? And I have a few ideas about this. I think relationships, processes, procedures, standard operating procedures in our business should be put under a microscope at least once a year and reviewed to make sure that they're current and up to date and they're the best possible uh, processes and procedures and automations for our business right now. Because if we're not staying updated, we're falling behind because the world is changing so fast. We want to make sure that we're, we're keeping up with progress and technology and the things that are important for our business. <clears throat> uh, strategies, plans. Again, there's most, most things in my businesses get an annual review at the very least. Sometimes it's more often or wherever, whenever there's a change in the business or in a department, we do a process review. We look at our processes and procedures and we say, does this make sense? Or if something needs to change, we incorporate it into our documented processes. Why? It makes our business more valuable. It makes us more efficient. It makes it easier to train. It makes it easier to understand. It makes it easier to audit because I've been in a lot of industries that are audited by outside agencies. Uh, we want to uh, do the same thing with the culture of our organization. And this is one of the hardest things for us personally to look at and judge and be, uh, or assess, let's say assess instead of judge, and be open-minded and realistic about, right? Because it's our baby. But it's also one of the most important things because it has such a huge impact on our results, on our impact, on our relationships with our customers and with our people within our organization. So we wanna make sure we're looking at relationships. We're looking at, at uh, processes and procedures. We're looking at results and key performance indicators. We're learning from our mistakes and having lessons learned, but we're also capturing the things that we do well so we can continue to, to do more of that. Uh, we want to put our customer experience under a microscope. How are our customers perceiving us, right? Things like that. So I would love to know, what do you need or want or put under a microscope as you're building and growing and supersizing your business? Share with us so we can learn from one another. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Hopefully where it comes from exactly. And how might you use it to grow and build and supersize your business right now? Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. Bye.